Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Collective Unconscious. Today I would like you all to relax as we try to probe the inner depths of your mind. Now is this... no. <laughs> anyway, hello everybody and welcome back to Psychonauts as we go into the Brain Tumbler experiment! <laughs> no more calming voice. Yep, and we get to start out just where we began, with Rasputin from the egg. But now, little bunny, we are equipped with heavy artillery, so you'd best watch out. Oh god, I forgot about you guys. <laughs> I love them, because they just blend right in. I want to try to hit the bunny. Well, I don't know, it's got little hearts all around it, so maybe that isn't the greatest idea. I don't I'll set it on fire! Damn, I messed. Ugh! Come back, buddy. I want to burn you. Okay. So this is that shadowy monster that we met before. Let's take care of him. Oh. Wait a minute. Was he just a figment of our imagination the entire time? Don't tell me I imagined that. Perhaps. Perhaps you really are insane, Rasputin. Get these couple of figments. We can't get that co those cobwebs. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. You cr you crying? Here, we'll give you a tag, make you all happy. Oh, ah, look the dancing. <laughs> all right, and I have to get that chicken. No, come on, get up there. Get up there. We'll have to get that chicken. Oh, no! Ah, there we go. Those are the worst. I know I keep saying that, but they really are. Did we get you? Yeah, we got you. Alright, and we're gonna just skip you. We're gonna just skip you. There we go. X to skip. Whoa, you gosh. You creation. I command you to stop. Dang. Does that ever work? I always thought that it was kind of weird that the sensor from from Rasputin's mind is the same as the sensor from Sasha's mind. You think that it would actually look different, but on this on the other hand, I'm just thinking about it now, that kinda makes sense that it would stay the same or look the same because uh well two things. You could either argue that because Rasputin never saw sensors before, except for in Sasha Nine's mind, they acted as a kind of seed, and so that he never will be able to see uh, sensors any other way. On the other hand, you could argue that... Oh, what is it? What is it? You could argue that... Um... Oh, there was another argument I just thought of. Maybe I'll think about it in a second as we beat the living crap out of these sensors. Oh, little tiny ones. And yeah, they're not really hard right now. Fortunately. Because, I mean, they're just grunt enemies. So, the one idea is that, oh, that uh, by seeing Sasha's uh, sensors, he was imprinted, basically. I keep missing that. I'm gonna try one more time and then be like, screw it! Come back later! I never noticed these before, though. That's why I... Excuse me. I've been notice my noticing myself getting a little nasally in my Let's Plays, and it's because... I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I guess I have phlegm buildup or something while I'm recording, which is really gross, and I didn't want to, like, be like, excuse me, guys, when I... <laughs> But whatever. Can we get it? Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, and we missed. Oh, well. Well, we know we can get up there now. That's what's important. These meat flowers. Oh, I didn't even know you could break those. What do you know? Can we get over here? No. No. Alright, enough dilly-dallying around. Let's, let's go after the bun. Mr. Bun. Uh, and the other idea is that maybe it didn't matter that he only saw them first in Sasha's mind. Maybe if th this is what sensors always would look 
would have looked like to Rasputin had he seen them in his own mind to begin with. Um, after all, maybe Sasha's mind doesn't actually look like that to Sasha. I don't know, it's, it's all mindy-windy mumbo-jumbo. So it could go any number of ways. Aha! Chicken! Get back here. And I hear a bag, which I'm guessing must be up here. What? 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 What did I get hit? Yep. What? I'm being shot through the wall? I remember seeing this. I saw this when I played through the last time. I forgot about that. One of the few, I guess, glitches that I've ever found in this game. That you can be shot through the walls by those guys. Oh, here it is. We got your tag. You're all set. Yeah, go, go, go celebrate. By, uh, stuffing yourself full of people's stuff. Oh, gosh. Please don't slide. Okay, good. Wasn't sure if we were going to slide down this or not. Uh, let's see. Can we go any farther back? No. Oh, well. Oh, there's the bag. And we got your tag, too. Awesome. <laughs> Just the amount of meat is amazing. Alright, come here, little sensors. Let me beat the crap out of you. Okay, and... Yeah. Oh, shoot. Crap, I forgot about the cat bombs, whatever they are. They look like the, uh... The style of cat in the New Saints Row game. Uh, what is it? What is it? There's, there's a mini game in, in the New Saints Row, Saints Row 3, where you basically go on a Japanese game show. Ha ha! Americans, it's so funny, them trying to do our game shows. Um, <laughs> and basically you run around and shoot people in costumes. That's the entire mini game. It's kind of dumb compared to the mini. It's all the mini games are kind of dumb compared to the mini games in Saints Row 2. I mean, I know that a lot of them are similar, but it's kind of fun just seeing that little bit beforehand where you try to figure out why you were actually doing it. Come back here, chicken! Oh, meat! Oh, oh, oh! That's disgusting. Little what is boy, this? I am sorry to say that you have a very serious mental problem. The trouble originates in this area, here. The area that we in the medical profession like to refer to as the brain. You see, son, it's just no good. I hate to be so blunt, Dogen? but you have the insanity of a manatee. <laughs> people are always saying that. What do you think's wrong with my brain, Doctor? How should I know? I'm a dentist. But here's what I do know. If a tooth is bad, you pull it. But my teeth are fine. Yep, mad brain's got to come out, boy. It's the quickest way to cure what you've got. Insanity of the mind. But I don't want to. Sh -sh 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 now hold still. This will only hurt until your brains come flying out. <laughs> Don't worry, Dogen. I'm coming up there to save you. What is wrong, Rasputin? No time to explain, Sasha. I gotta claim the spooky thorn tower. Oh, I love... What is his name? Dr. Lobato. We'll be seeing him again. Don't worry. This It's, it's not... You'll see. I don't want... I don't want to necessarily give it around give it away ooh we got a new power what do we get uh it's not saying but we can buy a cobweb duster now too awesome yep we're gonna get that dowsing rod as soon as we can because i know people were like oh you skipped so many titanium arrowheads yeah but that probably would have amounted to like 10 titanium arrowheads which would have been like one trip with the dowsing rod. The world shall taste my eggs. Ah. Ah. 
Ah. Ah, he looks like a croissant or something, not a chicken. Uh, ah. 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 What? <laughs> what? <laughs> How was that? I'm seeing some crazy stuff in here, Sasha. This can't be right. Ugh, why did I buy the cheap brain tumbler? <laughs> Alright, we can't get up there yet. Pretty sure we can get up there, though. We'll be back here, though, so I'm not really worried about getting all of the... the figments right yet. Oh, gosh! I know I should be expecting them, but they still freak me out. Yeah, like, I see I missed that one. I see I... Miss the ones floating around. Eh, whatever, whatever. We'll be back, we'll get them all. Oh my god, meat. There's no way to get any higher. You must use your levitation power. What levitation power? I don't know how to levitate. Yeah. What do we do now? I had no idea you were at such a remedial level. Hey. <laughs> Lucky for you, we have one of the world's foremost levitators on staff. Agent Mia Vodello, the mental minx. Precisely. You'll need this oarsman's badge to reach her at the docks. I'll try to determine where this interference is coming from. Return when you've earned your levitation merit badge. Cool, so we get a badge for doing nothing, pretty much. But anyway, now that we're out of the brain tumbler, let's go meet Agent where Mia Vodello. Like take you, Agent Kruller? After we go to let's see Kruller. I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble Psycho Master. After all, we did just unlock another Psy power, so why not? I also want to stop the In King recognition store. of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for telekinesis. Oh, God. <laughs> Now don't get me wrong, when I said oh god, I love this power to death. With telekinesis, we can use our minds to grasp an object and then throw it. Go ahead, try it yourself. Because that. Problem is, it's kind of hard out the trash. on a PC because now I have just to... think about where you want it to go. Yeah, right. whatever, Ford Crawler. You have to hold Q. Now just think about where you want it to go. And then you have to use the WASD keys to say where it wants you want it to go. Yes. Oh, good throw. Now, let's see if you can make it through the hoop. You sound like my dad. Hey, I've been thinking about that. Why'd that guy hate psychics so much? What do we ever do to him? Cursed well, his family? Psychics killed his whole family. Cursed them and all their descendants to die in water. Whoa. Yeah. Talk about baggage. Tell me about it. And the weird thing is, I'm pretty sure he's actually psychic himself. Ha! Huh. Cuckoo! Well, you can work on him when you get home. For now. Oops. Yep. But before we get on to that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to set telekinesis to the right mouse button. Excuse me, because I'm about to sneeze. <sighs> Just because it's so much easier to use it that way. Because now, watch. I can just... Oh! I can use two hands to do it. Oh, great shot. Let's see you do that again. It's much easier on the PS2 and Xbox, which Don't is... Don't be shy. Bingo! <laughs> I okay, forgot you could get it right in the middle. One. But yeah, no, it's much easier on a console. Right down the center. Which is the way I first now, played it. Let me show you something. But... Pick that trash eh, can whatever. Up and... Aim your toss at the side of the caravan. Awesome, I get to beat up circus stuff. Actually, wait a minute. Very nice. Now, set me down easy and go pick up something that won't blow up your head if you make it mad. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to throw it at the side of the caravan. Let's throw it, it at the side of the caravan. Trying, I want to throw it at the static. Come Hello. Away. Throwing something against a wall is a little more destructive than tossing it around on the ground, isn't it? Oh no! Another one of my senses! Now how'd that get in here? Looks like we're in luck. He doesn't see you yet. Why don't you smash him on the head with that handy trash can? Come on! 
Use telekinesis to pick up the trash can and throw it at that sensor. I also just don't like um, how unused telekinesis is a lot of use for a lot of levels. Pick up the trash I mean, there's a couple levels where you use it all the time, but then all the other levels, it's pretty much like, eh. Looks like the trash took him out. <laughs> Next I lesson? could use so much we'll <laughs> many other things. Snappy one -liners. Hey, I got good snappy one-liners. What are you talking about? Son, I will teleport you deep into that solid rock over there. You don't knock that off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think that might be enough Where for today. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? I think I'm just gonna go. Well, let's go. Let's go. Let's go level up a few Bring times. Me back a burger this time, will you? <laughs> Maybe I will. Maybe I will. But they're not ready. They're back order. Come on. Now, before we get going, because I want to check out the camp, because people should have rearranged. They should have new things to say. All that jazz. But before all that happens, let's level up. A couple of side levels. You know, head back. Hey, where's my hamburger? I, I told you. Just kidding. I just want to buy stuff. Don't push me, Sonny. I can reach you with this spatula. <laughs> oh, that's my last now with that. Wait, wait. Oh, that's my last cobweb, cobweb duster. duster. Now with that, you ah, no. wait, wait. Now with that, you can change the color of some of your psi powers. Oh, like I forgot about that. Ball and what have you. Ah, no, here, Don't need now, that. Dowson rod now. You take that uh, sword, we've got enough for the dowsing rod, so we'll buy that. Arrowheads that are sold to the big-headed kid with the gloves. Hey, my well, head's not big. Now, take it. it's sold to the big-headed kid with the gloves. And we're just gonna get three of these. Alrighty then. What else can I do you for? Excellent choice. What else can I do you for? There we go. That's all I need. Alright, go get more arrowheads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shush, shush, shush. I'll show, I'll show the uh, dowsing rod next episode because we are going to be going all around camp again. But for now, going back, to, right back to Agent Cruller's hideout. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Cruller? Uh, the sanctuary. The I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. All right, all right, all right. I also just love the music down here. <laughs> now, before you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you how these babies work. Now, this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh my gosh. He teleported mental right away. You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, up in the camp store, they sell a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The duster stores the cobweb psychic energy on the real world side. So you can take what you collect back here, hook it up to the loom, and weave that tangled mess into something useful. Like a card from a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side core, also sold in the company store for a nominal <laughs> fee, and it will kick out a bona fide side challenge market, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Put my mental cobwebs in there, and my side cards and cores in there. Yep, basically. Have fun. And in order to get high to a high level at all, we're going to be using these quite a lot. But first, yeah, we got enough for all three of our psi cores, so let's do that. Can't remember that they do them all at once. Yep, they do. Good. Awesome. So we are now level 24, making some good headway. Because I know... I usually get to the end of this game around, like, level 80 or something. Which is not... I mean, we're not close to that, but it's not too far away either. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Um, let us start with the geo... Uh, yeah, near the geodesic near the psycho... Geodesic psycho isolation chamber. Yeah, that thing! Roger that, Ranger Crawler. Let's start around there and work our way around camp. 
because we need to go to the lake to go see Mia Bo Bordello, Bordello and talk to her about, uh, yeah, our, our uh, Levitation Merit Badge. But for now, I'm going to see you guys next time on Let's Play Psychonauts with Mio Fu.